Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teagan, Raleigh, North Carolina, your source for everything in the world of Toyota. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now. Okay, so now I've got a really cool video for you. I'm comparing every trim level of the 2019 Toyota Camry because let's say you know you want a Camry, but how are you gonna tell which one to pick? I can help you, let's go. Today I brought seven of my good friends with me. This is Camry L model in Galactic Aqua, LE model in Blue Streak, the SE model in our brand new color, Supersonic Red, XLE four cylinder in Brownstone, we've been dancing with Mr. Brownstone, XSE four cylinder in Midnight Black Metallic, the XLE V6, what, Jeff brought V6? This is in Windchill Pearl. And this is XSE V6 in Celestial Silver. As I compare the exterior and the interior, I'm gonna show you a lot of the differences, but I'm also gonna show you how they're very similar, if not the same, especially on the outsides, so you can kind of get a feel. Write down in the comment section which trim level you would pick. They all have Toyota Safety Sense, luckily, and what that does is it prevents accidents by watching with this radar for cars in front of you stopping or slowing down really fast, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, and also radar cruise control. In the windshield here, it has a camera facing outward. That's for lane departure alert. So it tells you if you go outside of your lane and then it'll guide you back into your lane with steering assist. And then it has automatic high beams. It switches from the high beams to the low beams based on if there's a car coming at you or not. This is our L trim level. This is the luxury side of things here, not the sporty side. You'll see that in a minute. It has the horizontal slatted grill in a dark smoky color, bi-combination LED headlights, and daytime running lights. Just to let you know, the ground clearance here, it's just under six inches, so please be cautious when you're pulling up in your new Camry to a curb, because you don't want to scrape that thing. There's nothing more depressing than getting a scrape that could have been avoided. The LE model is going to be identical to the L model, so what I do for this one here is, let's just get a close-up picture of what the headlights look like. And also, I'll see if I can get close to the camera here. So you can see what that looks like. And then here's the radar for the radar cruise control. Now for the sporty side of things, this is the SE trim level. It's known for its patented wire mesh sporty grill. It's in a black color here, has bi-combination LED headlights and daytime running lights. And it also has the same Toyota Safety Sense. This is what it looks like in supersonic red. What do you guys think of that new color? This is the XLE model. This is the model that I own and it has fully integrated LED headlights and also daytime running lights. Has the horizontal slat grill. Let's show you these lights here so you can see the differences between the lower models and when you get up to the XLE. The XSE four cylinder, it has fully integrated LED headlights and daytime running lights, but it has a smoky gray tint to it. And then the difference between the XSE and the SE this has a glossy sport mesh grill. The SE has a matte flat black finish, and then it has a silver accent bar in front as well. This is the XLE V6. It's identical to the XLE four cylinder, fully integrated LED headlights, daytime running lights, the metallic bright grill, and then just look at this in wind chill pearl. Doesn't that look fantastic? This is the XSE V6. It's nearly identical to the XSE four cylinder, but it has parking sonar on it. That's not standard. I just want to point this out. Parking sonar in the front and also a camera for bird's eye view camera. That's because it has an option package on it. So that's not standard. Profile of Camry, sleek, aerodynamic with bold contours and lines. It cuts through the air very easily. So it gets really good gas mileage. Now let's check out the L model wheel size and appearance. This is 16 inch steel wheels. This is the only trim level that does not have alloy rims. The LE model, it has 17 inch alloy wheels. See that down the side. And then just like the L model, it has color keyed side view mirror. It does not have turn signal indicators, does not have blind spot monitor. On the LE model, you can get blind spot monitor as an option. SE trim level. First thing I notice is the wheels, but also color keyed side rocker panels, which gives it that sporty look. And then these are 18 inch machine finished black and chrome alloy rims. 
XLE, luxury, class, style. Has 18 inch machine finish alloy wheels. It also comes with smart key standard on it so that you'll see this is the indicator right here where you can lock your doors and then you unlock the doors by holding the handle right there. The side mirrors, this is where it upgrades. It has color keyed side mirrors with a turn signal indicator. I'll never be able to see this, but it has the, there it is, blind spot monitor right here that's standard. XSE, it comes with 19 inch black and chrome machine finished alloy wheels. And then this has a combination of everything before it. It has the color keyed side rocker panels. And then it's got the color keyed side mirrors with the turn signal indicator and blind spot. XLE V6, it's gonna be the same thing as the XLE four cylinder, the 18 inch wheels, side turn signal, blind spot. I will show you this one has the option of the panoramic glass roof on it. So that's what it looks like from the top. And here's the profile of XSE V6. You can see the 19 inch rims, all proud like a phoenix strutting at stuff. Now I'm gonna compare the back ends of the cars. How am I gonna tell these suckers apart? This is the L model. The three base models do not have LED tail lights as an FYI coming up. Backup camera here, there's no spoiler. You know it's an L because ironically enough, it doesn't say L. This is the only trim level that does not indicate its trim level on it. It also has single exhaust right here, no chrome tip. The LE model is the same as the L model, except for it says LE here. This is the SE trim level. It's always known for being an SE because it has a color keyed rear spoiler. You'll see that on the XSE just in a little bit different fashion here. So now the SE, it says SE, like I said, it also has single exhaust with dual chrome tips on it. And then it has these little vortex accents here. That'll be the same in the XSE as well. XLE, this one's different from the base models because it has LED tail light standard on it, XLE. And then it has single exhaust, but it has the chrome finisher tip to give it that extra finish. Here's our friend, the XSE. It's kind of a hybrid of the other trim levels here. It has a color keyed rear spoiler, LED tail light standard, vortex accents, and then it has, well, XSE, but it also has dual exhaust with quad chrome tips. I mean, this car could be ready for Thunder Road. Why this car is automatic, it's systematic, it's hydromatic, why it's grease lightning. This is the XLE V6 standard LED tail lights and it has dual exhaust with chrome finisher tips. This is XSE V6 and it has color keyed rear spoiler, XSE. This one does have parking sonar sensors because it has that driver assist package on it. And then it has dual exhaust with 50 tips. No, I'm kidding, it's dual exhaust with quad chrome tips and again, the vortex accents. There you go. It's time for our first commercial break. Thanks everybody for watching my video so far. Please continue watching. Thanks for your support. My kids said I'd be a big deal if I could get 100,000 subscribers. So now I ask you, please click subscribe. Help a guy out here. And while you're doing that, I'll do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Get down tonight. Back to your show. So now I'm gonna talk a little engine performance. Under the hood here, I'm gonna point out the trim levels that had differences from the L model here. This is a 2.5 liter dynamic force, four cylinder engine. It has 203 horsepower, 184 foot pounds of torque. It does have soundproofing material underneath the hood and lining the passenger cabin for a quieter ride for us. Toyota's great with soundproofing the cars. Hydraulic lifts, it's convenient. You just go up and also it's safe so you don't have to worry about the prop rod dropping on you here. The transmission, it's a direct shift, eight speed automatic transmission. So really smooth shifting between zero and your top speed. Gas mileage on the L model, it's 29 in the city, 41 on the highway and 34. You're approaching hybrid levels here. It's missing some equipment from the other trim levels. It's a little bit lighter, so it's a little bit better gas efficiency. So if you want great gas mileage and you want the gasoline version, go with the L model. Whew. LE, SE, and XLE four-cylinder, they're all going to have the same engine in it, but they have different gas mileage. So let's point out a window sticker for gas mileage here. 28 in the city, 39 in the highway combines to 32. Obviously it's less than the L model, but they come tricked out with more options. 
This is the XSE four cylinder. It's different because it has 206 horsepower, 186 foot pounds of torque. The gas mileage is the same as the other ones though. 32 combined, 28 in the city, 39 in the highway. Now these bad boys here, Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, no actually XLE V6, XSE V6. These are a little different because they utilize the 3.5 liter V6 engine, 301 horsepower, 267 foot-pounds of torque. Now, the gas mileage is a little different with them. I'm gonna come over here. This is the XLE V6. It has 22 in the city, 33 on the highway, combines to 26. But then, little difference here. The XSE V6, 22 in the city, 32, as opposed to 33, and then it combines to 26. I have the trunks open in the L model and the LE model. The L is gonna be different from everything else because the seats do not recline and fold forward. So you will not see pins here, but the trunk space is the same. So it's nice and deep, wide, lots of storage space. And then for working on your spare tire and jack, you've got that there. Soundproof material here. The temporary spare, it's always the same diameter as the other wheel so it won't wobble. Now let's go over to the LE. This one here, you'll see pins on either side. So you can pop those pins, so to speak. And then I can push these through. Let's say I have something long that I want to push through. You don't have to keep going around to the side. And then that's your big giant pass through space. And this is what the back seats look like when they're folded down. So you can store things, stack them up high. Maybe a dog bed could go there and the dog could lay there. This is the L model I'm sitting in, and I'm showing the legroom distance with one of the seats back, pretty good actually, and then one of the seats more forward, so you can swap them around, driver and passenger. The L model, it has one seat pocket here, not two, and then these seats do not recline, so you're not gonna get an armrest or cup holders that come back, although there are bottle holders in the sides. This is the headroom in the middle. I'm 5'8", I'm not the tallest, but a six foot person could sit here just fine. And then here's the gigantic leg room. Let's say it's somebody with shorter legs or just shorter in general. They'll give the people in the back a little bit of love in here, a little bit of extra room. Now I'll hit on some bullet points of the front seating area, buttons and controls. This is the L model. You can see it has fabric seats that are two-tone. This is the one trim level that will not have a power mechanical driver's seat. It has the bar that goes forward and backward. It does have a pump so you can raise your seat up and down four times automatic windows here so you just with one push the window goes up and down like that then it has automatic high beams traction control on and off for if you get stuck and need to rock back and forth in your car to get out of it trunk hold and gasoline hold in the previous generation they used to be down in the floor right here if you remember Steering wheel controls, they're designed to minimize distraction. Toyota's big into that, making sure people are paying attention, but it's easy to get to the buttons and controls. So just about everything you'll need is right here. The keypad goes across the 4.2 inch multi-information display. You can change your safety settings. You can also just find information about the car, how far to you run out of gasoline. I like having it on the digital speed myself. This is voice command you can give the car. This is to pick up a call hang up a call through Bluetooth. This goes back to your previous screen. This is AM, FM, Bluetooth, and this goes across your preset stations, lane departure alert, pre-collision system, and now it's really easy to set your cruise, to turn it on, and also to set your speed. Console here, good amount of storage space in here. No electrical plug-ins here, I mean like USBs or 12 volts. Cup holders. If you have Qi wireless charging, this would be right here. If not, it's a storage pocket. The L model has the traditional key, not a push button. Has a USB jack, iPod jack, the 12 volt circular port. The temperature controls, it's single control. In other words, not dual control. Fan speed, it works really well though. Temperature, and then just control where you want the air. Woohoo! And this is the Entune Audio. In other words, it's the base Entune Audio with the Entune App Suite. It's really easy to use. You've got access to Scout GPS, Pandora, iHeartRadio, fuel prices, things like that. The audio, I'll just show you. It's touchscreen, 
Again, real simple to use. I push this, and then you can adjust your treble, mid, and bass. Put it forward and backward like that. But the sound system itself, very, very simple to use. Okay, up top, it's a regular rear view mirror. Wi-Fi connect is standard on every trim level this year, and also so is the safety connect. That can help you if you're in an accident, you can alert people to come get you, or you can call their service if your car gets stolen to track it. Little LED pocket lights here, sunglass holder, and then mirrors here. There you go. LE model, this is gonna come standard with fabric seats as well. The upgrade from the L model here is that the seats fold down in a 60-40 split, but it also comes down with an armrest with cup holders. This is an option that was added on the car, but I do wanna show you what either Toyota can add or we can add at the dealership. Dual USB ports so everybody can plug in and charge in the back. Little pocket here. But the fold down seats and the armrest, those are, and the cup holders, those are differences between the LE and the L. Here's the interior of the LE, it has fabric seats. Now the difference is when you upgrade to the LE, you're gonna get standard the power driver's seat. So you can go forward, backward, up, down, you can twist it. And then this is for the seat back, this is for lumbar support. The other difference is you can actually upgrade your radio system to Entune Audio Plus if you want to, which will give you satellite radio standard. HD radio, those type of things. Now more things that are standard on the 2019 Camry, Alexa enabled commands, not Android Auto, but it also has Apple CarPlay that's standard on every trim level. These are apps that can give you easily the music on your phone, the navigation maps, you can do iPhone maps, Google maps, Waze, you can also do Scout GPS. I can access Sirius XM here without even upgrading my radio. So it's real, real easy to use. Here's the SE interior. It's lined with soft text with sport fabric seats. Excuse that plane flying overhead, the nerve of them going somewhere. But you can see the soft text there. No rear air vents like in the L and the LE. There's the optional double USB ports. And the backs of the seats are in soft text as well. Now, here's the interior of the SE from the front. For the radio system, it has Entune bass audio. One thing I like on here is that it gives you a tire pressure monitor, so that's real valuable, especially when it's colder, like it's November now, so that you can actually see when the air is contracting and lowering your tire pressure. And then this accent, it's a brushed metallic accent there. It's a little bit different. This is the XLE interior. Did I mention I love my Camry XLE? This is gonna have leather seats. Let me show you the accent on here. This has rear air vents because it's an XLE. Two seat pockets. And then it always has a little accent strip based on whether you have beige interior, gray interior, or black. Okay, here's the interior from the front. That is beautiful. Some people don't like beige seats. I got gray seats, but this one really opens up and brightens the whole car itself. Power driver seat, leather wrap steering wheel. Now here's another difference because it's the XLE is instead of a 4.2 inch multi-information display, this one has a seven inch multi-information display. So it can show you all that information just in totally different format. And the XLE, here are some upgrades here. It has two more USB ports in the center console area. So that's three in the car. Heated front seats to go with your leather. 
electronic parking brake and brake hold. Brake hold, when you have it set, if you pull up to a traffic light or a stop sign and you wanna wait there a couple minutes, just push it and you can actually take your foot off the brake. It's pretty cool technology, although it takes a little getting used to, to trust that if you take your foot off the brake, it's not gonna do something horrible to the car in front of you. This is standard, the Qi, Q-I, Qi wireless charging pad, so you can lay your newer iPhone or Android right here without wires and it can charge. It also has standard, the push button start. The entertainment system, this is Entune Audio Plus, so it's an upgrade standard. It's an eight inch touch screen, and what it does is it gives you standard Sirius XM, things like HD radio, that kind of stuff. That's all standard now. The other thing is you get the auto dimming rear view mirror, and then up top here, this is an option. It has the panoramic glass roof on it. Let me show you what that looks like from the inside. It goes all the way to the back. I think it's time for a demo, folks. And then let's see. Now this one here, it's not a defect. This is how far the actual roof opens up. It's not quite three quarters of the way open, but that's what it does. And that's what you can have for you and the people in the back. And one last thing I wanna mention here, in the 2018 model, navigation, built-in GPS was not even available. It was not even an option for you. Now on the XLE four-cylinder, XSE four-cylinder, the V6 versions of each of those, you can get the navigation package if you want it. Although, and that's map, although if you've got Apple CarPlay and you've got the Apple system, you can do Google Maps, iPhone Maps, and Waze. I don't know if you need the navigation package anymore. Here's the interior of the XLE looking from the passenger seat. And speaking of passengers, they get a power passenger seat. And then the accent here, it's not the brushed metallic or wood grain. This one's called Tiger Eye. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Here's the interior of the XSE four cylinder. What's unique about it is the interior color I chose for this so you could see it. It's cockpit red. If you like red, it's awesome. If red's your least favorite color, you might wanna stay away from that. Here's another angle of the red accents. You can see how it's scattered about. Power driver seat. Let's do this so you can see this angle. Yeah, man, that's really cool stuff here. The accent, just like in the SE, it's gonna be that brushed metallic. And I did wanna show you, I did mention that you can get the navigation package upgraded. This one has the navigation package. So you can see that's how it works. It works through the cloud actually, so it's constantly updating like a Waze or a iPhone maps, Google maps, that type of thing. And the view from the passenger side, brush metallic accent, power passenger seat, and what the seats look like from this angle. This has a panoramic glass roof as an option, so I wanted to show it. Sorry it's so dirty, guys. This is what it looks like when it's open from the outside of it. Actually, let's show it from the front too, if you don't mind. Here's the XLE V6. I'm gonna show you it because it's in the black interior and I haven't shown you that yet. Rear vents for air. And then here, leather wrapped steering wheel. Okay, this one has what's called the 10 inch head up display. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll there. The head up display, it shows you on your screen or on your windshield, what's going on as far as your speed. It can do navigation if you have navigation. It can do phone calls, music. It tells you what gear you're in. And it also shows you the lane departure alert and radar cruise control. It's only flashing right now because of my camera. It doesn't normally do that. But the point to it is, is that it, so it avoids distraction and you're looking right in the direction of where you're driving. 
And to show you the interior, it has that tiger eye trim. Same look up top. This also has the panoramic glass roof, but it's standard now because it's a V6. And then the radio system. This upgrades, it's the Entune Audio Plus, so you still get satellite radio, things like that, HD radio, but it has JBL sound system. So what it has is concert-like performance, so it feels like you're actually there. It has nine speakers in it. JBL. JBL, and the point to JBL speakers is they want you to feel like you're at the music concert, at the sports event, at the symphony, while you're in your car. So I hope you get to enjoy it. And again, here's our friend XSE V6. Has black interior as well. Note the contrast stitching color here. Rear vents, double pockets. And then here's the view from the passenger side. A lot of people ask about what's the interior like? Can you show the interior? So I try to get as many different angles as possible. Power passenger seat. And just look at the texture and patterns here. And look at my shadow. This one has the brushed metallic just like the rest of the sporty ones. Here's the view from the driver's side of XSE V6. I did want to show you one button. This is the bird's eye view camera. When you push that and put it in, it shows you your normal backup camera, but it also shows you what's going on from an overhead view. And let's try this actually. Shows I got the window sticker outside the car just by the driver's door if you notice that. And then it shows a car on the side of me and it also says hey dude you better not back up too much more there's another car so I would know to stop and actually the reverse cross traffic alert is telling me that too everyone thanks so much for watching if you're in the North Carolina area looking for a Toyota come ask for me Jeff Teague please subscribe to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel and as Eric the actor would say bye for now